background in the out. I come to Osdale Beacon and Osdale Um uh, I'll give you a little story about this car here. We did it several years ago <coughs> for the original client. Um, the, uh, they sold it on to somebody else who wanted to increase the range. He only had a small range before, so he wanted to increase the range. So we helped him with an upgraded pack. Uh, and at the moment, what we're doing is programming the battery management system and uh, rearranging things to work with a new battery management system. Um, this is a Suzuki Sierra, probably about a 97 vintage. Um, <coughs> has a, uh, a about a 60 kilowatt motor in it at the moment. Um, just quick run through. Main pack battery charger, 12 volt battery for the radio, the headlights and so on. To keep that charged we use these two items here which is a DC-DC, changes the pack voltage down to 12 volt. We put 12 volt into this charger regulator and that charges our 12 volt battery and keeps everything nice and sweet. Uh, clearly the motor, uh, this is the uh, controller. Look, in, even in five years these are half the size for the same performance nowadays so uh, everything's becoming smaller, lighter, easier to use. And over there you'll see a pump, that's the vacuum pump and cylinder, that's how you get your vacuum brakes. Uh, for when you want to use your brakes, you can. Uh, you don't have a petrol motor. You can use that. We move right around here. We'll show you what we've done. So the owner actually made up his own battery pack. Um, we supplied him the battery cells and the uh, and the uh, battery uh, retainers. These are little plastic retainers that hold each battery uh, separated from the battery next to it. Um, keeps it nice and tight in there. Just some threaded rods go through there through the whole length to hold it all together. Anyway, so he's put the battery pack in. We've wired up the, uh, the battery management system to each cell, and that goes through to a battery management box, which is hidden under the dash. Um, and in turn, that works the uh, fuel gauge, and it gives you the capacity of the battery at any time. This is about three times the original pack. Uh, I think this should get this fellow 200 to maybe 250k range, which is a good range. He might want to opt later to add the DC fast charging onto it. Um, great little car, goes well, probably performs about the same as what it did when it was a petrol car um, without, all the, uh, without all the maintenance issues, so uh, you know, no oil fills, no radiator, no hoses, no fan belts, there's uh, no exhaust system, no alternators, no starter motors, there's none of that stuff. And that's all those maintenance items that go along with. Still got your, your gearbox on this one. Um, and differentials and transfer case, so you need to do those oil changes probably every 40,000 along with the brake fluid. Uh, check your pads probably every 40,000 kilometres. Um, this one does have regen braking and we're looking at maybe winding that up or ramping it up a little bit more for him. Uh, but apart from that, it's just going to get it going again and uh, out the door it goes.